Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of AV Astronomy. And if this is your first time watching the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today, I wanted to talk about something that um, to me was somewhat of a challenge starting out in this hobby, and that was just figuring out what software, how many different software programs, you know, what all was I going to need to get this thing up and going, right? So, um, you know, again, it's just one of those things after doing this for a while, you completely take for granted and you just load up your programs and really what triggered me to even think about doing this video uh, I said I guess you could say inspired me to do this video was getting a new laptop and then having to re-download all the software programs drivers and such and making sure that all installs properly and so that you have a functioning system so that's what I'm gonna be covering today we're gonna go over all the programs necessary that you need to download okay now this isn't like the end-all be-all the only programs you can use but uh, most of them are pretty much in everybody's arsenal of software programs I would say uh, especially with respect to the ASCOM platform and ASCOM drivers but you can certainly purchase programs out there that cost a lot more money but most of what I'm going to be showing you today is actually free um, there's a couple in there where you know they uh, do accept like a small donation uh, for the programs and, and they're totally worth it I completely support doing that but all really all together uh, most of these software programs are free and the way I do my astrophotography with this software suite uh, setup it's all you would need to get everything up and running so you can image control your mount plan your imaging sessions and have everything working smoothly. So let's go inside and I'll show you guys what programs you'll be needing. All right, so I went ahead and put together a little jot list here for you of all the software programs that I use with regard to controlling the telescope, controlling the camera, um, having the necessary drivers, and uh, stacking images, and the you know absolute minimum as far as processing images, what you'll need uh, in regards to software. So here's the list. Go ahead and jot that down and we'll get started going through each of these and where to find them and how to download them. Okay, so the first one that I would download is the ASCOM platform. And it's at this side here, you can just Google ASCOM platform. All right, so you're on the ASCOM platform webpage, ASCOM standards. And if you're running Windows, this is what you want to download here. Okay, you just click download and I'm sure most of you <laughs> You don't really need much instruction at this point it's really just click install let the setup program install it you're good to go but that's where you find the ASCOM platform that's the first thing you want to do then let's go back to Google the next thing you want to control your mount is EQ mod so EQ mod ASCOM setup and what you're looking for is the sourceforge.net here we go EQ mod go to the download page and just like the other just click and install and that'll take care of those two okay so now you've got the plat yeah, ASCOM platform you've got EQ mod to control your telescope the next thing you're gonna want are the drivers for whatever camera system you're using so what you'll need to do check your whatever cameras you have Zen WO, QHY Attic, whatever brand, you're going to have to go to your company's website. In my case, there are ZenWO and QHY. Go to the company webpage, software, support. And ZenWO's is easy. It's not specified for each camera. You just download the necessary driver for cameras. Boom. Same as before. To click and install. You're good to go. And that covers your ZenWO cameras. QHY is a little different. Uh, there's a, I believe there's a specific driver for each camera. So let's go to download. 
Yeah, see. And for me, as my guide camera, the QH Wave 5, 3 right here. There you go. System driver, stable version, boom, download, extract it, load it, you're good to go there. So if you have, if you're like me and you have just some ZenWO or QHY cameras, you're good to go on drivers. You've got the ASCOM platform. You've got EQ Mod set up. Now, the other software programs you'll need are PHD2, which is totally free. Just type in PHD2 in Google, download the latest version. For Windows, if you're running Windows, uh, whatever operating system you have, just download the latest one. And simple installation and setup, just click click on through and you'll have that set up. Okay. So the next one on the list, you definitely want Deep Sky Stacker for stacking your images. Also free. Download. And there's the latest version right there. Okay. That takes care of Deep Sky Stacker. Now, for your planetarium software, you're going to want, there's two main, like, free choices. There's Stellarium. I use both. Um, I like Stel Stellarium because it's prettier. And just the way it, it seems it's a little easier to navigate with regard to planning your imaging sessions, at least for me. That's, that's, um, that's my preference. Some people just use Stellarium to do everything, or they use CDC to do everything. I like both a little bit. You know, I like some of the features of Stellarium. I like to use CDC when I have it hooked up to my telescope. So Stellarium, business as usual, pick your operating system, download, install it. Great program. I've got another video here uh, that goes over how to use Stellarium and some of the, the big benefits and uh, features of this program and how it can help you in planning your imaging sessions. Okay. CDC is not quite as pretty as Stellarium. If you actually put in Cartes du Seal, that pulls it up. Sky chart, AP, that's it, API net. Download stable version. This is my pointing software, so to speak, that I use for pointing to my target when I have it connected to the laptop, the tele when I have the telescope connected. All right, another one for polar alignment. One of the most tried and trusted and true programs out there is sharp cap definitely get the pro version it's like a measly 20 bucks it's totally worth it just and it's good for a year get the sharp cap pro license right there download get the pro license install set it up you're good to go now some people use this program for imaging i think like with planetary and and i think some may even use it for deep sky i just I like the uh, polar alignment feature it has. It's very accurate, um, very reliable, and I see no reason to use anything else. And it's you can use a free version of it, but the pro version is better. Um, and it's you know I want to support these guys here, so and I think it's like twenty twenty dollars something like that for the pro license. It's not much. And the last one, probably one of the most important ones, is APT Astrophotography Tool. And you can use this program for free, um, and it's it's also like twenty dollars to you can donate twenty dollars. Um, it does have all the features free, but if you want to support the guy that made this, um, it's like twenty bucks. So I would definitely do that. But anyway, easy easy program to use, very user friendly, and you get the demo version here, or you can purchase a key get the full version. I use the full version and love it. There's other programs out there like Sequence Generator Pro, which I know a lot of people love and enjoy using, um, but it's just one of those things. APT is what I started with and uh, it works great and I, I love I love using it, so I don't see any reason why to switch. Works well, very reliable, cheap program. And I believe I believe that's it. With regard to my setup, that's pretty much all the software I use as far as that goes, with the exception of Photoshop. Now, if you don't have any Photoshop experience, there's a ton of tutorials on online just for basic use of Photoshop, but also there's, I have a couple other videos here uh, that go over using different Photoshop techniques for astrophotography uh, image processing. But the way to do this is the subscription service. It is 
very reasonable. Um, let me see if it's still the same. Yeah, it's nine ninety nine a month. I mean, you know, you can find that in your car or your couch once a month and change. It's totally worth it. And you get Lightroom and Photoshop uh, for just nine ninety nine a month. So get Photoshop if you don't have any other image processing program for your astrophotography, and you'll be good to go. So that's it as far as which programs you need. Installation is very straightforward and simple. And I know, you know, watching this, you're probably thinking, well, that was a piece of cake. And it is when you know what you need. Uh, but as I stated before, when I was starting out in this brand new, I, I kind of knew Photoshop was the way to go, but I had, you know, no idea what other software I was going to need to let my laptop control my telescope. So I hope this helps. Hope this makes things a little bit easier for you guys in regards to what software you need. I'll do some future tutorials here on some of these programs I mentioned um, so you actually know how to use them as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you're interested in any of the gear or accessories that I use for astrophotography, I've put some links in the description down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, you felt like it was helpful, led you, hopefully it helps you get started on the right foot, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that will be covering gear, tutorials, and imaging sessions. And until next time, clear skies.